All right, so here's part three on the study of parabolas um, with the next example. All right, which way did this one open? All right, this one opens down because it's y equals x squared. It's got to open up or down, and since the coefficient out in front here is negative, it's got to open down. All right, so what's the vertex? All right, so the h value, that goes with the x. All right, notice this time we have x plus 1, which is really, if you think about it, x minus a negative 1, and so therefore your h value would be, or is, negative 1. Right? And then your k value is negative 3. The axis of symmetry, we now automatically know, since this is a parabola that opens down, the axis of symmetry is x equals the x part of the vertex. So x equals negative 1. So what's c? So 1 over 4c has to equal negative 2. That implies that c is negative 1 eighth. All right, so the focus would be what? Well, which way is this parabola open? It opens down, right? Opens down. So focus is here. So what's changing? The y value. All right, so you take the vertex and you say, all right, so the focus is negative 1 and then negative 3 plus whatever the c value is. So it's negative 3 plus negative 1 eighth. So the focus is negative 1 and negative 25 eighths. That's the focus. And the directrix is, since this is a parabola that opens down, the directrix is a horizontal line. So y equals the y part of the vertex minus the c value. So minus negative 1 eighth. And that means that y is going to equal negative 23 eighths. Everybody see how to find the focus in the directrix? You have to really know which way the graph is opening, and you have to know the vertex, and then you have to know the c value, and then you can go find the focus in the directrix pretty, pretty fast. All right, so sketching the graph real quick. Vertex is negative 1, negative 3. So right there. It opens which way? It opens down, so there are not any x-intercepts this time. Uh, but there's got to be a y-intercept, right? So what's the y-intercept? All right, so to find the y-intercept, we let x be 0. So y equals negative 2 times 1 squared minus 3, <coughs> which means y is equal to um, negative 5. So that's the ordered pair 0, negative 5. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That point has to be on our graph. And then by the axis of symmetry, we know that exactly on the other side of that axis of symmetry, there has to be another point that has to be there. And then you can connect the dots. There you go. And the vertex would be, uh, or the vertex is negative 1, negative 3, and the focus would be negative 1, negative 25 eighths, which would be inside here that we can't really plot. It's kind of small. And the directrix is negative 23, 28, so it would be back here. Y equals negative 23, 28. All right, everybody get the idea? Right, so that's the standard equation of a parabola with, verte with a vertex at uh, hk. And if we're in this particular form, that's nice because we can read off this information, the vertex, the vertex and if whether it opens up or down. As soon as we know that, then we can go find the c, uh, and then the focus of the directrix. So the dilemma comes with if we're not written in this form already. And that's what the next video is going to discuss. All right, so study well, and please let me know if you have any questions.